relevant and possible to bring uh, President Putin to understand the gravity of what, of what he is doing. The UK will continue to offer support to our Ukrainian friends. And I do think it has been right for us to be out in front in offering uh, military assistance, defensive military assistance uh, to the Ukrainians. I think that has been the right thing to do. I spoke last night uh, to President uh, Zelensky, who made further requests, and we will uh, consider them. We're doing everything we can to offer, uh, offer support in the time uh, that we have, and, and we will do that. But I, I just think it is worth, and I, I, I'm glad that the Right Honourable Gentleman seemed to support that as well. Uh, it is absolutely vital in the, uh, this critical moment that President Putin understands that what he is doing is going to be a disaster for Russia. And it is clear, it is clear from the, the response of the world to what he has done already in Donbass, that he is going to end up with a, a Russia that is poorer as a result of the sanctions uh, that the world uh, will implement. A Russia that is more isolated. A Russia that, that has pariah status, uh, Mr Speaker. No chance of holding uh, football tournaments in a Russia that invades uh, sovereign countries, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, and a Russia that is engaged in a bloody and debilitating conflict with a fellow Slav country. What an appalling, what an appalling result for President Putin, uh, Mr Speaker. I hope that he steps back from the brink and does not conduct a, a full invasion. But in the meantime, Mr Speaker, uh, we must implement the tough package uh, that we put forward and we will continue to offer the Ukrainian people all the support that we can. Yeah. Theresa May. Thank you, Mr Speaker.